Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Today we're going to have a look at testing multicast on your network. Now, multicast is really important, particularly with phone systems and multicast paging uh, because with regular paging you're using up a lot of bandwidth on your network every single phone needs its own uh, data stream and it impacts the uh, phone system as well with multicast not so with multicast you have a single stream single stream of data that goes across your entire network and it only uses uh, one channel on your phone system if you use your phone system at all so this is a yay star s50 phone system it allows for 50 phones but only 25 concurrent calls and so if you wanted to page out with a regular page to all 50 phones it's not possible with a regular page you're using up all 25 concurrent calls with multicast you send out one page it can go to all phones on a single stream but the problem is is multicast doesn't work over routed networks and it does uh, if you have bridge connections sometimes the bridge will block the multicast traffic so you need to test this we're going to show you how to test your multicast but before we do uh, check out our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Helia Cannon. We've got lots of great videos about phone systems and telephony and all sorts of things. Also, coupon at the end of our uh, video here for our online store, buyphonesonline.ca. All phones of all types, PoE switches that we recommend, everything you need for uh, phone system implementation and more. Okay, without further ado, let's jump in and see what this is all about. Okay, so here we are. We're going to download some tools to get this done. I searched for M Tools Multicast Test. You can see the Informica M Tools. This is the best place, and these are free tools, which is super nice as well. You do need to create an account. They force you to create an account to be able to download the tools. But once you download it here, uh, you get a zip file. And then the zip file, let's bring it up here. Uh, here's our zip file. So we've got a bunch of different operating systems. Now also, you're gonna need to have two computers. Uh, you're gonna need uh, one that you're gonna send from and another one to receive from. So uh, in, in our case, I would recommend putting the sender uh, in the same place, same switch, same everything, that your phone system is plugged into because we want to test your phone system sending multicast traffic out uh, across your network and then wherever your phones are that they can receive it. So uh, one computer by your phone system and another laptop, you're going to go to your, uh, your different segments and, and plug it in there. So uh, you do want to switch it up because we also are going to be uh, in a real implementation. We send multicast traffic from one phone to all the other phones. So you're going to want to move those two, two computers around. Okay, so uh, here are the tools. Uh, we need to go into the Win2K directory, but before we do, there's a testnet directory. Now, the, in this testnet, you're going to have uh, uh, initial five. Now, these are the initial five. has some instructions in here uh, with different IP addresses. We're doing test one today. So I'm going to bring up my notepad here. Uh, this is our multicast address. You do want to check, use it, with the multicast address you're going to be using for paging and if you have a look at our other videos on uh, youtube.com slash candy you'll see other multicast addresses it's not a normal ip address so you have to you can't just put any ip address in it has to be a multicast address uh, and then the other thing we need to change here is the ip address of your local computer so this is the command i'm going to use for sending and this is the ip address of my local computer and then my second computer here's my address so this is actually uh on, there we go it's on one line so it's going to dump everything to this log file so let's bring up my remote desktop for my other computer you can see here that i'm at 10.100.97.37 and and I put the tools on here as well. Now, this gets to run from the command line. So let's bring up a command line prompt. Here's my command line prompt. If I have a look in here, you can see the files are here as well. And we're gonna send. So this is gonna be my sending computer. I'm gonna take this command here uh, and I'm gonna paste it 
onto my command line here. And so this is gonna start sending traffic. So you can see these dots, 600 uh, uh, bursts of uh, 20 byte messages. Now we have to go to uh, my receiving computer and we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna bring up here, I'm gonna bring up uh, a console, uh, make sure that the, they're in here so you can see my MDump uh, program is here and then we're gonna paste this and here are the messages so uh this is just counting up 20 it's counting up in hex that's why you see one f uh, but you can see the messages we're receiving each and every one of them and then if we go in here and stop this of course what you'll see is this is stopped too which is what we want to see and then if we start sending again you'll see that it starts sending from zero. So that's how you're gonna test multicast. You're gonna to wanna to place these in two different parts, especially in areas that um, uh, you're suspicious that the multicast is not working. Now, if you confirm it's not working, then you have to look at your network devices. So first of all, routed networks, not a good idea. So if you've got different segments and you're trying to send it over the WAN or a VPN, uh, there's a lot of special configuration for that. Uh, now, that being said, if it's not a routed network and you've got wireless bridges, you've got smart switches, uh, you want to have a look at the configuration of those smart switches and those wireless bridges to make sure that they are not blocking uh, multicast traffic, that they are, in fact, passing along. So that was testing multicast uh, with your computer. And so uh, we've got a lot more great videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash heliocanna. Please check that out and stand by for a coupon for our online store, www.buyphonesonline.ca. I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report. Thanks for watching.